Hi there, Doug Stewart with IT Creations. Today we'll be taking a look at one of Dell's cloud platforms, the Dell PowerEdge C6320 server, which resides in the C6300 chassis. This is a 13th generation server that's designed for high performance computing workloads and hyperconverged solutions. The C6300 chassis can support up to four separate C6320 dual socket server nodes. Doing a little math, that means up to eight CPUs in a single 2U chassis. And that, my friends, translates to some impressive performance in just a wee bit of space. Let's take a look. The C6320 improves on the performance offered by the previous generation, C6220, with support for up to 50% more cores and 28% better power efficiency for data center deployments. Dell says this is the perfect platform for scientific simulations, seismic processing, and data analytics, which relies on compute performance and memory bandwidth. Since it's a Gen 13 model and Dell has already released the 14th generation C6400, you can most likely get a great deal on one of these babies. More on that in a minute. The chassis supports the storage devices, cooling, power supplies, and up to four separate server nodes. Each server node provides the processing power, memory, and network connectivity. There are two basic configurations for the enclosure, either 24 by 2.5 inch drives or a 12 by 3.5 inch drive chassis. Specifications currently state that SATA drives will produce the greatest capacity at up to 72 terabytes, or using Nearline SAS, it will support up to 48 terabytes. You can choose from either SAS, SATA, or Nearline SAS hard drives, or solid state drives. The expander backplane option also provides dynamic drive assignment for the 2.5 inch drive chassis only, so you can point any number of drives to each compute node. You can choose to divide them equally between the nodes or assign more or less storage depending on the workload for each node. Are you interested in the Dell PowerEdge C6300 chassis? Or how about a fully configured system with a C6320 server node or four? If you are, for a limited time, you can save up to $500 off the purchase of a system listed at $5,000 or more. Just click that link to see pricing. We have a bunch of pre-configured systems listed, but if you have a plan and a spec sheet, we can provide an estimate to custom configure a system just for you. While you're at it, check out some of IT Creation's other great deals on servers, professional workstations, and components. It's all good. A SATA DOM or disk on module plugs into a SATA slot on the motherboard. The DOM has up to 64 gigabyte capacity and can be used to support the operating system, preserving upfront storage for, well, storage that can in turn be allocated to the server nodes. Choose from the Perk H330 or H730 HD RAID controllers supporting both SAS and SATA at speeds of up to 12 gigabits per second, or the LSI SAS 2008 controller offering 6 gigabit per second access speed. Powering the chassis and up to four nodes are dual hot plug redundant 1400 watt or 1600 watt high efficiency PSUs supported by a 200 to 225 volt AC system. Seems like a lot of power until you realize there are four separate dual socket compute nodes capable of supporting up to 44 cores of Intel Xeon E5 2600 V4 processors in each node that are sucking the life out of those power supplies. It's also compatible with E5 2600 V3 processors, but you will take a hit in memory speeds and core count as the V3 processors can only deliver up to 18 cores. Separate power on buttons for the supported compute nodes are found on the server ears, with two on the left and two on the right, along with a few telltale lights for the node status. All server nodes are hot pluggable, including the front mounted storage devices. Intel C612 chipset supports the processors and up to 16 DDR4 DIMM slots per compute node. That works out to eight memory slots per processor with each processor controlling four memory channels with two slots per channel. Memory modules can run at speeds of up to 2400 megahertz when paired with a compatible V4 processor that also supports that speed. Processors and memory modules can support different speeds, but the system will default to the slowest performer between the CPU and memory modules. Using a full complement of 32 gigabyte DDR4 registered memory modules in all 16 memory slots produces a maximum capacity of 512 gigabytes per node, or a total of two terabytes in a highly dense 2U chassis with four nodes. The 13th generation of Dell servers use the integrated Dell Remote Access Controller 8.0 with Lifecycle Controller, better known as iDRAC, to facilitate remote management of the system. OpenManage is also provided for easy access to the server using a standard browser, either local or remotely. The system comes with iDRAC 8 Express and OpenManage Essentials, but can be upgraded to support more management features with an enterprise license. The embedded OpenManage software makes the C6320 an ideal platform for hyperconverged systems iDRAC 8 with Lifecycle Controller facilitates management and configuration automation for hyperconverged systems, reducing the number of steps to deploy, monitor, and update the system over its lifecycle. Hyperconvergence necessitates a scale-out system with modular pre-configured blocks. When you need to increase capacity, you add another pre-configured server node or a whole chassis outfitted with server nodes to increase capacity. 
Each node supports two expansion slots, a BI-16 slot and a BI-8 mezzanine slot, each of which are PCI 3.0. The BI-8 slot supports a number of optional network interfaces including 1 gigabit Ethernet and 10 gigabit Ethernet, Mellanox, InfiniBand, and other optional drive controllers. With optional BI-16 riser cards, you get even more options, like an integrated micro SD card socket that you can use to boot the system. Even without the optional stand-up network cards, the C6320 comes with an integrated LAN on motherboard that provides two 10 gigabit Ethernet slots with SFP+. The Dell PowerEdge C6320 server is highly regarded as an excellent scale-out solution for data centers and cloud applications, with loads of processing power, memory, and storage in a small 2U footprint. The C6320 can also help you realize a greater ROI over the long haul by saving on power, space, and minimizing IT labor. The four separate server nodes also give administrators flexibility when allocating resources with modular building blocks. We hope you enjoyed our short review of the C6320, and if you're looking to purchase this system or any other, just check out IT Creations. IT Creations can custom configure to your specifications and send it out for next day delivery. I added a few links for pricing and support documentation in the description section, and if you have any questions, post them in the comments section below. Oh, and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more news on the latest servers and workstations. I'm Doug Stewart with IT Creations, and thanks for watching.